I want them to have some um, vegan breakfast things. They have vegetarian breakfast things. They don't have vegan things. Luckily, I'm on my way to the kitchen. My cooking with Q. Shameless plug. I might have apple butter pancakes. I may have a waffle stack. I may have the Q, because that is my favorite sandwich. I definitely know I'm having kimchi hash because the kimchi hash is straight fire. Yeah, I'm going to have my breakfast at the kitchen by cooking with you. You coming? <laughs> Quick talk. very hard let me let, let me first say i washed my hair yesterday so my hair is huge y'all i mean bigger the hair the closer to god that's where i'm living at right now i must be super close because my hair is big okay i'm done okay we're done my biggest thing that i'm having right now is changing mindset and I'm not going to say changing my mindset, but changing the mindset. So people will little business you. People will little bit, they will little business you. People will. They will little business you. They will little business you. You hear me? They will little business you. People will little business you, and then you have to get people out of little business in you because if I don't treat my business like a little business I'm not gonna let you treat my business like a little business we are having a small and when I say small it's minute I'm going to make it small because nothing can't be that hard I'm already chosen where's my airpods because I need to make sure I'm clear At the tone, the town will be 343. We are the tone town will be 343. We are trying to get people in the um in the process of understanding that I'm I'm not always accessible. I'm not always like I wish I could talk to everybody on the face of the earth all the time every day but if I did that I would never get anything accomplished so I have to set boundaries for myself because for me to get my work done like I, that means I cannot be accessible right so I'll have my team talk to people and they'll be like oh well if all else fails I'll just talk to Q no because I put them in the position to be able to have the conversation with you. You shouldn't have to talk to me for everything. And I don't know if, you know how you're not trying to be mean. It's like, I'm not trying to be mean, but like, y'all, somebody got to keep building this business or it won't be one. And I think the people are just like, well, it's just your little business. It's not a little business. Nothing that I do, I feel like it's little. Nothing that God gave me feels little. Nothing. Not one thing. It's like when people go to like their favorite places. Let's just say, what's some of y'all favorite spots? Y'all go to Nordstrom's. Y'all go to Macy's. You don't walk in Macy's and say, number one, I want a discount because I want a discount. And number two, I want to talk to the owner of Macy's. That's not what you do. Nobody does that. So sometimes 
I get a little bit like, I'm a little bit disturbed. I don't know, make me mad. It's just like, I gotta teach you how to stop little businessing me. Like quit little businessing me. I'm not a little business. In my mind, I'm a multi-billion dollar corporation. So put some respect on my name. And put some respect on like my ideas. So if I pick leadership, respect the leadership. If they gave you all the information that you need, why do you think I'm gonna give you a different piece of information? Cause I'm not. So that's why I needed to have a talk. I needed to vent that out because in reality, we have to stop little businessing people. Like when people have businesses, it's their business. Don't make it seem like it's their little project. Like it's not their little project, it's their business. And you know me, I'm the queen of like, I do not receive it. So if you feel like that's your thought, it has nothing to do with me. I'm not going to own what you say. I do not receive it in the name of Jesus. And I can't be available 24 hours a day, seven days a week to every single person on the face of the earth. Cause that's not real life. It's called boundaries. And I, I set boundaries and I respect boundaries. But that bothered me like, oh, you talked to one of my leaders and the leader told you something. You're going to say, well, if all this fails, I just talked to Q. Like, no, you won't. And honey, if God respect me enough to give me an idea or give me a business, then you're going to have to respect it too. And that's on when Mary had a little lamb named Jesus. Okay. I was so disturbed. Like, why did you say that to her? What you mean? Did she not say something right? Was she not clear? Was the verbiage not clear? Crystal. I thought it was crystal clear. We are a multi-billion dollar company. Cause honey, I'm not waiting for somebody to speak life over me. I can speak life over myself. Cause my father in heaven gave me the ability to be able to open my mouth and speak life or death from this mouth. This is a multi-billion dollar corporation. You're going to put some respect on my name in the name of Jesus. And that's on period. See, disturbed a little bit. Y'all better tell these people. Y'all better tell them.